Oh, but guys, welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, in today's video, we're actually gonna make um, some rag dolls. Uh, and yeah, but first, uh, let's do a bit more knockback when we are at our last hit. So let's open our hit server script. And after, uh, like before, we um, apply the body velocity to our enemy. We are gonna multiply um, the knockback um, if our combo is at four or higher. So if character get attributes combo equals to uh, yeah. Um, that equal to four or higher um, then we're gonna do knockback equals to knockback times like five or something so it's five times more knockback when we are at our last hit let's just uh, try this out Yeah, you can see this. Okay. Now, we are gonna uh, use uh, our Recto module. I have on, it's not a module, but it's a script. I have one already prepared. Um, it's a, I think it's pretty decent what I've uh, made here. And yeah, you're gonna find this in the first link in the description. That's gonna be this script. And then you just have to get it. Okay, and after you've got that, you can just open your toolbox, go to your models, and then uh, put it in your workspace. Uh, put it in service group services. And it should already work, but we still need to script something. So, um, uh, first of all, let's go to in our server, uh, weapons service script and do characters head attribute is rectal to and then we still uh, need to create a second script so we can actually uh, our second module to um, actually apply our yeah our work doll to others so let's create a new folder in server, server storage modules that folder is just gonna be called other so other modules and inside of that folder, we are gonna um, want to have a new module script that's gonna be our helpful module. Okay. Um, and in that helpful module, we want to have a new function. So function is module dot ragdoll. And we need a character and the ragdoll time. And then we're just gonna to uh, have a tussle spawn function here. Come on. Yeah, like that. And then if the character uh, is already at you, uh, is already rectored, we don't want to continue this, so then return end. Uh, but yeah, then we want to set uh, yeah, it's vector to true um, then wait the our vector amount uh, vector time amount and after that uh, we're gonna check Oh, well, not, uh, we can just do uh, is reactor but set it to false again and then you can even have uh, a new attribute so let's open weapon source again and we're gonna have some iframes so character set attribute iframes to uh, false iframes are pretty much the time 
you can't take any damage or anything like that. And we're also gonna implement that here. So after our vector, this is pretty much the time when we get up again. We're gonna set iframes to two so it can't be hit. And after like past rate six seconds, a uh, six point six seconds, we are gonna set iframes to false again. So we are invis invincible for 0.6 seconds and to show or yeah show that a bit more to anyone else we're just gonna add a highlight to the character and just write a highlight here again so character dot highlight this right okay okay this should be our uh, little recto script then we can open up hit service and Get the module history local oh, local helpful module equals to rep, uh, require ss modules dot other dot helpful and then just down here or like here because we only want to apply rectal after um, yeah. At the last combo, so we're only inside of here, we're gonna do help module dot vector our enemy character, and yeah, we can actually open our weapon stats and create a new stat here. And that is the rectal time for my rapid, so it's gonna be like 0.2 seconds. For my sword, it's gonna be 0.3 seconds. Then we can open hit service again and get that here so local rec door time equal to weapon sets dot rec door time and then put rec door time here okay yep this should be everything here uh let's try it out so first let's try it at our character Okay, that works. Then for enemies. Oh, okay. Uh, doesn't seem to work. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> I released my um, spelling mistake. Uh, so in hit service, uh, I just misspelled it here. So make sure to... Uh, right, ragdoll time correctly here, just like you have it in uh, your weapon stats, and then it should work. I've also uh, fixed a uh, dismissed spelling mistake here, so yeah, now uh, it should work hopefully. <laughs> yep, okay, perfect. Ooh, okay. Nice, our vector script, uh, script works. There sh also shouldn't be uh, any character flinging when they get back uh, get back up. It's sometimes, I, I just had it one time occur with another player, but never with like uh, any PCs. So it can happen, I think, but very rarely. I would try to fix, as I said, anything related with the rectal uh, script but yeah that's it uh, for now but not with the episode because we still uh, have to do a little bit of uh, things so in your weapon script weapon server script uh, we are gonna add um, is rectal here and uh, we, because we don't want to equip our sword when we are wrecked out. And let's do the same for here that so we can't attack if we are wrecked out. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, or is wrecked out? Oh. Okay. But now this uh, wraps up the whole episode. Um, thanks a lot for watching. 
And if you have any questions about the Rector script, ask them in the comments. But yeah, have a great day. Bye.